Okay, so it looks like we have a uh, blue portal here. And we have a big room, and... Oh! Well, hi there, Wheatley. Um, I thought you got sucked into space when I was, um... Trying to kill you. Are you gonna say anything? Hmm, guess not. So, you can just stand there and watch me do this test. Um... Oh. Looks like we have a, uh, deadly pit there. Um, probably don't want to jump in that. Let me see if I shoot this blue portal over there. Huh, guess not. Can I shoot in here? Oh, I can. Hmm. So maybe I can just shoot a portal in here. Well, it still says blue portal. Let me drop it quick. Oh, now it says orange portal. What if I shoot it in there? Nothing. Let me go past here and shoot one. Alright, so I can... Wait, where did my portal go? Oh, so this must clear your portals. Okay. So, guess I can't use any portals past this thing. So, this must be some sort of launch thing. Aerial faith plate, maybe? Yes. So, I guess I'm supposed to push this button. Hmm, didn't do anything. Maybe it did something in the other room. Yes, it did. Looks like we have a uh, light bridge here. So, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to shoot a portal over there. I'll shoot a blue one over there. So I'll go back over here, and now I will drop a orange portal down. There we go. Now let me just teleport over there through the portals. There we go. So, looks like this is the end. That was a pretty easy test. Don't you think, Wheatley? Ah, nothing. Ow. Oh! Who's that? Oh, can I have some of your cake? I'm pretty hungry. Ow. Oh. Oh. He hurts you. I'm stuck. <laughs> eat, must eat cake. Oh. I died. Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Kona 5 here, and today I have Portal 2 in Minecraft, as you saw earlier. Um... I just made a simple test chamber, um, it was kind of hard thinking of an idea, I thought it would be pretty easy, but, um, guess not. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the redstone works for this entire thing, so, um, let's go ahead and just start with something easy here. So, um, this is the, uh, field back there, I forget what it's called, there's actually a name somewhere in here, wherever sugarcane is. Yeah, Emancipation Grill, that's it. So, um, the Emancipation Grill is actually done with these command blocks, and then there's some extra ones here for the end. But, um, what this does is it's doing effect for all with the name of Grill to be Minecraft Invisibility. So, it's giving them Invisibility Forever, and the booster is 1, and True, so it hides the bubbles. So, that's making them invisible. It's also giving them resistance, um, 255, so that you can't kill them. And it's executing, um, the... Uh, grill, so the emancipation grill, to do slash kill at e name equals op, and just remember that, and I will explain it later. And then there's also BP, so op and or op I guess and BP stand for orange portal and blue portal, and it'll make a little more sense later. And these are for the end, just to give guardians and silverfish um, invisibility and resistance for the end. So how did I get the emancipation grill to look like that? Um, well, I uh, these are actually creepers, so game mode 3. You can see that it says grill. Um, you can kind of see maybe a creeper. Yeah, you can see a creeper in there, but it's hard to see. So um, they are charged creepers. They are silent, and they have no AI. So they don't move, and if you punch them, they won't make a noise. And, you know, they're charged, so that's what the blue stuff is there. Um, let's see here. So... Let's go back out here, and I will do more redstone stuff. So this is the aerial faith plates. So it's executing all players. So it's executing me to detect where I'm standing to be a stone pressure plate one, and one stands for a on pressure plate. So if I'm standing on a pressure plate and it's on, then it will execute me to detect negative two blocks. So two blocks under me to be wolf five. And if it is, I'm in an armor stand. 
That's invisible, custom AFP for aerial, aerial faith plate, and motion, um, negative 1.0, 1.0, and 0.0, .0 and rotation 90. So um, there's four of those, but they're just different rotations and motions and blocks. So this, um, I'm using a resource pack, um, is uh, wool 5, which I believe is green or something, green or yellow, I believe, I don't remember the exact one, but um, when you stand on it, it's detecting if there's green wool under you or yellow, <laughs> and if there is, it's summoning an armor stand, looking this way, and setting the motion this way, and then right here we have a fill clock that's TPing my player to AFP, which is the armor stand's name. So it's TPing me set there, so when I jump on it, it flings me. Um, so now when it lands on the ground, it doesn't go away. So we need command blocks for that too. Um, we have scoreboard player set, um, the armor stand that you summon, to armor stand kill, which is an objective I made, to one, if it's on the ground. So only if it's on the ground, it'll set it to kill armor stand to one. Then we're killing all with a score of armor stand kill to a uh, minimum of one. So uh, when it lands on the ground, it will kill itself. So that's what those do. And then uh, we just have one here to execute all players um, that, uh, to detect where they're staying to be a stone pressure plate. And if it is, we're playing the sound mob ender dragon wings. And we're just clearing the weather, you know. We don't want it raining. And... Um, so I'll go over this too. When you push the button, it's just filling um, over the lava with barriers, and on top of that, activator rails. And the activator rail is textured like a light bridge, so uh, that's why it looks like that. Uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm using a resource pack. But um, next, we have a giant fill clock here, and it's filling it ten blocks this way with redstone and air at the same time. So you know, I can just break these and it'll place it back. So let's see. First, we're testing for an arrow in the ground, and if it finds it after a little bit of a delay, it will kill the arrow. So you know, if I just take a uh, bow here and shoot it in the ground, it'll just remove it. So next, we have uh, let's go here. Um, we're testing for all players with an item, uh, or we're testing for all items. I mean, sorry that have an item ID of Minecraft bow so if it's a bow in the tag display name basically just means the name of the item is blue portal and if it finds blue portal it will kill all the items and then it will give all players a bow that's named orange and then it's the same thing for this so it's testing for orange killing the item giving them a blue portal so then you can swap back and forth in between um, bows or portals I guess portal guns um, now I have the actual summoning the portals themselves and then TP the portals and then the particle effects so I'll go ahead and go over these so we're testing for um, all players that have a selected ID so they're holding the item that's a bow that the name is blue portal and if it finds it it will start this timer and when it starts the timer it's now testing for an arrow in the ground in in tile minecraft wool so what that means is it's testing for an arrow that's in a wool block um, if it's in this block which is actually quartz block um, it won't do anything which is why we have the kill command right here for the arrows but Anyway, if it finds it, it kills BP, which comes in handy. So um, it's killing all entities that are named BP, and then a couple seconds after that, it's executing the arrow to summon an armor stand where it's standing. It's invisible, no gravity, and the custom name is BP. So blue portal, um, it's killing the blue portal, then summoning a new one. So if you had one over there, and you summoned one here, it would kill that one and move the portal here. So that's what that's for. And then we're just killing the arrow. And it's the exact same thing for orange, except it's just changed to orange portal and all that. So now we have the particle command. So we're just executing um, all armor stands. Well, not armor stands, just anything with the name of BP. 
to do particle magic crit, which is blue. 0 0.3, these are just directions. Um, 100 times and force. So every second it's playing the particle 100 times. And same thing for orange, but this is just crit, not magic crit. And then finally we have the TP command here. Um, so we're executing at E, name equals op, so orange portal. To do slash TP, all players in a race equals 1. To at E, name equals blue portal. So it's executing the orange portal to TP you to the blue portal. And it's executing the blue portal here to TP you to the orange portal. So um, if you just shoot a portal on the ground, oops, you have to do it in there. And then I do another one there. So if I just, oops, there we go. So if I stand in here, it'll just TP me back and forth in between the two, like this, um, which is kind of annoying, but you can jump out of it. Um, but as you can see, when I hold the item in my hand, the timer lights up, and if I switch it, this one lights up. And when I drop the items, you can see these turn on. Um, let me go ahead and just go over the last thing over here, if you're wondering the turret. So this is a mushroom block that is retextured to be a turret. Um, and what we have is a silverfish that has a guardian on top of it, and they're both invisible, both have resistance and um, they both are silent so if I go game mode 3 you can see that there's a silverfish I don't know where the guardian one it probably despawned but uh, there was a guardian there just remember that and you know I'm in survival so it's just gonna shoot me because that's what guardians do and under the trap door or not really trap door but under here we just have affect my player to be instant damage one um, just to lower my health so the death would be quicker for the video um, but all this is a resource pack so if I go to resource packs and take this off it's precisely portal by the way if you want to download it but anyway if I click done this is actually what it looks like so um, we have the Wheatley here and um, for the blocks that you can't place portals on I was gonna use obsidian but they're textured different but this is what all the blocks look like. Um, it looks a lot different. And here's the bridge, which is pretty funny. But um, with the resource pack, it all looks pretty good. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, and thanks for watching.